How are the children? Mm. Mm. Ask you again. Mm. How are the children? Mm. Not, not well. well. Not well. <laughs> For those of you who did not answer the question, perhaps it's because you did not understand what you perceive to be a question. Or maybe it's because you really don't know the answer. Our success is really dependent upon the leaders that we have around the table. People who are passionate enough to actually put their feet um, to the pavement and get the work done. And so we're always looking for more people to come in and to work with us um, on a more kind of individual basis, always keeping in touch with your school district, whether that's the superintendent, whether that's attending school board meetings, um, actually voting in school board elections, um, calling your legislators. These are the type of things that help us be civically engaged people. And the more people that we have out there who are, who are doing that, the more it helps to strengthen the work that we do here. This bus represents the school to prison pipeline. So we're obviously using the symbol of a school bus, but our doors and windows have bars. And what we're seeing is the fact that police officers are now in schools. Our children are being criminalized for childish behaviors, like a school fight, for instance. They end up in the juvenile system instead of disciplined by their vice principal, let's say. From there, they're deemed a bad kid. From there, they then go on to prison. So this bus, the bus with bars on the doors and windows, is a symbol of the pipeline we have particularly our black and brown children in. One of the most shocking statistics I've run across in the juvenile justice system are, for example, in St. Louis County, there is one public defender for 394 juvenile justice cases in a year. And you, so you can see from that that it's impossible for every child to have counsel every time they're in court, and that's a violation of their constitutional right.